Aditya will stay about 1.5 kilo, million kilometers away from the Earth. It will be directed towards the Sun. In other words, this is 1% of the Earth to Sun distance. Uh, the Sun, of course, is a giant gas sphere. Aditya L1 will study its outer atmosphere. So that's what the broad goal is. But before we talk about what India's space observatory, Aditya, will do in space, we need to talk about how it will get there. And that is through the PSLV rocket on which it is mounted. Now, the rocket being used, and you can see it there, the PSLV XV. PSLV stands for Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. This is the 59th flight of the PSLV and the 25th flight of this variant. Uh, the rocket is 44.4 meters high. Uh, in other words, as tall as a 13-story building. The PSLV XV has a launch weight of 321 tons. So what are the sensors on board Aditya to help it study the moon? This is in fact what the Aditya mission is all about. What you see uh, on your screen is the visible emission line coronagraph. It functions as a re reflective coronagraph for imaging of the corona and spectroscopy. There's also the solar low energy X-ray spectrometer. It helps in the study of solar flares by measuring soft solar X-rays. Again, we'll explain all of this to you over the next one hour. There's the plasma analyzer package. It's designed to understand solar winds and its composition. Also the mass uh, analysis of solar wind ions. There's the high energy uh, L1 orbiting X-ray spectrometer. What does that do? It's designed to study solar flares in high energy X-rays. There's the solar ultraviolet imaging telescope. The images that the solar disk in the near ultraviolet uh, wavelength range provide through this device will be useful for scientists. There's also the Aditya solar wind particle experiment. This has two sets of sensors, four in total. You can see that on your screen. These are designed to measure the proton and alpha particles of solar wind and the high energy ions of the solar wind as well. There's a magnetometer which measures the low intensity planetary, low intensity planetary magnetic field in space. It's a part of a six meter long boom that Aditya will eventually deploy once it gets to its position. So those are the instruments on board. It sounds very high tech, we'll explain it to you, but quite clearly, and this is a common misperception, Aditya is not headed anywhere close to the sun. It would burn out if that were to happen. What it is doing is heading 1.5 million kilometers from the earth to deploy to a spot in space called the Lagrange point. What is the significance of this? Here are some details. Initially, the spacecraft will be placed in a low Earth orbit. The orbit will be made elliptical and the spacecraft will be launched towards what I just mentioned, the Lagrange point. That's marked L1 in the middle of that screen. The spacecraft will exit the Earth's gravitational sphere of influence. Aditya will be injected into a large halo around L1 or the Lagrange point, as we point out over there. The total travel time to actually get here will be four months. So that's important.